death of Sheikh Ismail in Qatar should serve as a wake up call for all of us. Definitely. The way people posted his videos he was known for preaching, spreading the word of Allah. True. But now also you, when you die, what kind of photos will they post? Your videos when you are half naked. Your photos when you are half naked. Subhanallah. And then they write on them, rest in peace. Yee. What kind of peace do you expect in the grave? Today, my question for you is, no. who will survive this reality? Mm. Who will live forever? No. One of the companions of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called Abdullah son of Masid. Kuntu ma'an nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, I was with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No. A man came to him. Fasallam ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the man said to him, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, no. Ya Rasulallah, no. O Messenger of Allah, no. Ayyul Mu'minin Akiyas. No. The man asked, Who is the wisest believer among all Muslims? No. Qala, Mm. The messenger said, "Aktharhum lil maut dhikra." He said, "One who remembers death so much, mm. one who thinks about his death more often." Allah Akbar. Wa hasanhum lima baadahu istighdada. And a person who is best prepared for their death. No. Those who work to meet Allah when He is pleased with them. Yes. Mm. Such a person is the wisest among all people. True. Brother mm. or sister, mm. I understand that most of us don't want to hear this. No. But it is the truth. Death follows us. The angel of death visits us every single day, 70 times or even more. Allah, Akbar. Allah says in the Quran, mm. all in الموت الذي تفرون من الله أكبر. Indeed, the death which you run away from. فإنه ملاقيكم. Indeed, it will meet you. Definitely. ثم تردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة. Then you'll be returned to the knower of unseen. Allah and the witnessed. You will be taken back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Definitely, that will happen. فَيُنَبِّيكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ And He, Allah, will inform you about what you used to do. True, that will happen. The death of Sheikh Ismail in Qatar should serve as a wake-up call for all of us. Definitely. The way people posted his videos was known for preaching, spreading the word of Allah. True. But now also you, when you die, what kind of photos will they post? Your videos when you are half naked. Your photos when you are half naked. Subhanallah. And then they write on them, rest in peace. Yee. What kind of peace do you expect in the grave? Allah Akbar. Allah created death and life to test us. Who will change his or her ways? True. In the Greek community, they keep skulls on their tables. No. On each written a statement. Mm. Memento mori. Mm. This means, mm. remember, you have to die. Definitely. So is the death of Sheikh in Qatar a test to you? Or you still doubt that you are next? Allah Akbar. May Allah receive Sheikh Ismail with mercy. May his grave be filled with light and peace. Allahumma amin. Wa hada salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Words of wisdom, courage, and words of great ponder.
this was a moment of think, a moment of deep ponder and thought. Have you reflected on the words she has said? Or have they just passed and you have not got anything from them? Memento mori. Remember, you have to die. That's in the Greek community. They keep skulls on their tables. She says, and on it written a statement, memento mori. Remember, you have to die. That should be a wake-up call. Death and life is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He intends to test us. Who amongst us will change their ways? I'm your host, Sechkubo Yasin, and my colleague, Rauda Nasif Luinda, sharing such beautiful insights. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala receive the soul of Sheikh Ismail Al-Qata with mercy, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill his grave with light, like she said. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Quran and his good deeds his companion in the grave. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.